Angelina Jolie reveals new health issues since her public split, uh, split from Brad Pitt last year. Jolie talks about her life since the separation in the September issue of Vanity Fair magazine. She says she developed hypertension as well as Bell's palsy, which caused one side of her face to freeze up and droop. She credits acupuncture with helping her to recover. Jolie says women with families put themselves last until it manifests itself in their health. A lot of mystery still surrounds Bell's palsy. And Dr. Max Gomez is here to tell us what is known about it. Dr. Max. That's right, guys. You know, Bell's palsy is a paralysis or weakness of the muscles on one side of the face. The result is that one side of the face droops. It's not common, but it's also not all that rare. About 40,000 people a year will develop Bell's palsy. Now, the paralysis or weakness affects the facial nerve that comes out right behind the ear and innervates the muscles of the face. So smiling, frowning, blinking, they can all be impaired with Bell's palsy. The cause is thought to be a virus that inflames the nerve, causing it to swell. But because the nerve comes out of the brain through a little bony tunnel, there's no room for it to swell, so it gets squeezed and shuts down. Now, it comes on suddenly, often overnight, and without warning. The only treatment for it is prednisone, an oral steroid to reduce inflammation, and an antiviral medication. Good news is that most people with Bell's palsy start to regain normal function within a couple of weeks and usually recover completely or with very little after effects. And you may recall that Maurice himself had an attack of Bell's palsy about a year ago. Trying to forget about it. <laughs> well, people bring it up all the time. Body. Exactly. <laughs> what happened? Did you uh, just wake up one morning? As you said, woke up one morning, the side of my face was frozen, couldn't believe it, thought it was a stroke, didn't feel like it. I called the doctor quickly diagnosed it, and then I went to a um, neurologist who then mm -hmm. went through the steroids that you talked about. But just, I mean, frozen, and you're freaked out by this can, just sudden, and without warning. And the main thing is that there's no known cause. It's thought right. to be well, a virus, but nobody knows. Nobody, re no nobody idea. really knows. No pain or anything. None. Just, just the frozen. Now, you said you did the steroids and some antiviral medication as well? Or? You do, and then yeah. after that, you just hope. Yeah, now you, you had to wait. kind of protect your eye, though, for a while. Well, tell me about that. Right, you said your eye is frozen, and so you're, it's you're literally open, you know, at night, and you have to put an ointment on it to keep it from getting scratched, which is very dangerous. What was the recovery like? I mean, obviously, you're doing well now, but what was, it took a little while. You literally sit around and wait. Probably felt longer than it, it actually felt like was, right? forever. But yeah. like, like you said, a couple weeks, and then you start to regain some sort of sensation. And in my case, it was a month before it went away. I was able to come back to work. But you're just sitting there, and all of it takes place in your head. You have no idea what's going on. And you're just waiting and hoping that this thing ends, because in some cases, it doesn't. Some rare right. cases, it rare doesn't. Case. But obviously, you're a good example of full recovery. You're doing fine? I believe so. <laughs> I hope so. I vote yes. for yes. I'm going to go we with yes. We were all relieved to have him back. Thank yeah. you, doctor.